August 29th, the unsurpassed intimacy of tested faith. Jesus said to her, Did I not say to you that if you would believe, you would see the glory of God? John 11, verse 40. Every time you venture out in your life of faith, you will find something in your circumstances that, from a common sense standpoint, will flatly contradict your faith. But common sense is not faith, and faith is not common sense. In fact, they are as different as the natural life and the spiritual. Can you trust Jesus Christ where your common sense cannot trust Him? Can you venture out with courage on the words of Jesus Christ while all the realities of your common sense life continue to shout, It's all a lie! When you are on the mountaintop, it's easy to say, Oh yes, I believe God can do it. But you have come down from the mountain to the demon-possessed valley and face the realities that scoff at your Mount of Transfiguration belief. See Luke 9, verses 28 through 42. Every time my theology becomes clear to my own mind, I encounter something that contradicts it. As soon as I say, I believe, God shall supply all my needs, the testing of my faith begins. Philippians 4, verse 19. When my strength runs dry and my vision is blinded, will I endure this trial of my faith victoriously, or will I turn back in defeat? Faith must be tested because it can only become your intimate possession through conflict. What is challenging your faith right now? The test will either prove your faith right, or it will kill it. Jesus said, Blessed is he who is not offended because of me. Matthew 11, verse 6. The ultimate thing is confidence in Jesus. We have become partakers of Christ if we will hold the beginning of our confidence steadfast to the end. Hebrews 3, verse 14. Believe steadfastly on him, and everything that challenges you will strengthen your faith. There is continual testing in the life of faith up to the point of our physical death, which is the last great test. Faith is absolute trust in God, trust that could never imagine that he would ever forsake us. See Hebrews 13, verses 5 through 6.